Hey y'all, thanks for checking out The Weekly Word. As we do each week, we got a handful of announcements that we want you to be aware of in the life and ministries of Madison Presbyterian Church. The first announcement is a pretty big one. Back on Friday, March 13th, your session gathered at a called meeting and they voted unanimously to discontinue all physical gatherings here at the church. And so we shifted our model of church to a virtual model. And for five plus months, we have been worshiping virtually and doing all of our Christian formation virtually. We have, during this season, remained connected to the body of Christ through these virtual ministries. They also, your session, also formed a task force that was to give them recommendations on how to respond faithfully to this virus. So last Sunday, your session gathered once again at a called meeting. This time, it was to entertain a recommendation from that task force. Your session ultimately made that recommendation a motion, and they discussed it. The motion was for a return to in-person worship beginning on Sunday, September 13th. Your session ultimately, after much conversation, approved that motion unanimously. So we are returning to in-person worship starting on Sunday, September 13th. What we know is that we have been planning for this day from about March 14th. So we've been trying to imagine all the different situations and scenarios that will have to go into being able to do worship and to do it as safely and as faithfully as we possibly can. So I can't give you all the details of what worship is going to look like in this video, but next week you're going to get a video that's only about our return to in-person worship. We're going to answer all of the questions that have probably come up for you in about the last 45 seconds. Okay, So check out that video next week. We know that this news um, brings joy for a lot of people, folks who have been clamoring to get back together, be able to worship God together in our sanctuary. There's a lot of joy around that. But we also know that there's a lot of sadness because there are many of you who know that it is not safe for you to gather yet in large groups. And so we want you to know that we will continue our virtual ministries. We will continue particularly virtual worship. It'll look a little bit different, but you will still be able to worship God with your church family until the time when we can all gather back together in person. What I want us all to know is that we are not bound together by the place that we worship God from, right? We are bound together by the God that we worship. We are bound together by the Holy Spirit of God, which transcends all time and space. So let us give thanks today for the God and the Spirit that binds us all together. Look for that video next week. You'll get all the details of what worship will look like. All right, second announcement. Our preschool is doing a fundraiser as they do most falls. They are selling flats of pansies for $18 a piece. If you're interested in buying one or a couple flats of pansies, we invite you to email our preschool director, Ashley Brown, at preschoolmpc at gmail.com. That's preschoolmpc at gmail.com. Ashley also wanted me to pass along a word of thankfulness for your prayers for her. She has recovered from the virus. However, she still has some lingering fatigue. And when she gets back to being the preschool director here physically every day, she's going to need all the energy she can muster. So we invite you to continue to be in prayer for her as she recovers. All right, finally, this Sunday, we are overjoyed to have a guest preacher with us. The Reverend Caitlin Gordon Cook will be bringing God's good word to us. I've already gotten a preview of the sermon. It's amazing. You're going to want to watch it. You're going to learn a lot from it. You're going to want to share it with somebody that you love. So log on this weekend and take part in virtual worship once again. Take part and use all those resources that we provide to you each week. And then share them with somebody that you love. Friends, today we are continuing to lift you in prayer and we invite you to be in prayer for the staff and the leadership as we imagine and then dot all our I's and cross all our T's for this transition back to in-person worship. Friends, I'm sending you grace and peace today.